Hey guys, I'm gonna be reading you Henry and Mudge in the Sparkle Days. Story by Christina Rywin. Pictures by Seuss Steve Sun. Ready to read? Yep. And level two. Henry and Mudge in the Sparkle Days. It was winter. Winter. Henry and his big dog Mudge loved winter because Henry and his big dog Mudge loved snow. This winter, they were still waiting. Daisy. That's my god, Daisy. For the first snow, Henry looked out his window every morning. Not yet, Mudge, he would say. Henry looked out his window every night. Not yet, Mudge, he would say again. Then one more morning, Henry looked out at his window and he shouted, Snow, Mudge, snow! He and Mudge put their noses against the window. They watched, they watched the snow sparkle. They were ready for a sparkle day. And when Henry got dressed to go outside, there wasn't much of Henry to see. He wore snow boots, snow pants, a snow jacket, snow mittens, and a snow scarf. He also wore a snow mask that let only his eyes and mouth show. And he also looks like a robber. When Mudge saw Henry in his clo snow clothes, I mean, he barked and barked and barked at the strange creature. Then Henry took off his mask and he showed Mudge his face. Mudge wagged, wagged his tail and followed Henry outside. The snow made Henry and Mudge want to run, so they ran in circles around the yard. Okay. Mudge poked his big black nose into the snow. He used his nose to dig a little hole. At you, Whip Mudge. Snow always made him sneeze. Henry weighed down and made snow angels. Mudge weighed down and messed them up. So Henry threw a snowball at snowball at him, but Mudge just wagged his tail. Aw, Mudge, Henry said, giving him a hug. Henry built an icy hideout, and they were snow spy, spies, spies. I don't know what that word means. Spice. Spice, I mean. My papa's there, too. They, there were many snow spies in the neighborhood. And our time is four minutes and 37 seconds. Let's keep going. After four hours of playing, they went back inside. Henry's hands were wet and his nose was drippy. Mudgy's paws were wet and his nose was drippy. Henry's mother wiped Henry's nose. Henry's mother wiped 
Mudgy's nose. I'm gonna get a drink of my drink. There we go. Then she put a blanket on the floor and Henry and Mudge curled up on it and fell asleep. Oh, did they love sparkle days. Hey guys, today's part two about Henry and Mudge in the sparkle days. Today, we'll be reading Christmas Eve dinner. Sorry, you can't see it because it's sideways, but here we go. Every Christmas, Henry's house sparkled. It sparkled silver. It sparkled gold. It had a Christmas tree that sparkled millions of colors. The day, the day before Christmas, Henry's mother and father always cut a lot. They cut all day, and the house smelled wonderful. Henry's mother liked to bake the cookies. Henry helped her cut them and decorate them. She gave a lot of them away. Oh wait, I forgot to show you guys the picture. There we go, that's Paige. Henry fa Henry's father liked to bake the turkey. He took a long time dressing it. Henry thought this was a very funny idea. He told Mudge, Dad's dressing the turkey. Then he giggled, giggled and giggled. Oh. In the evening, it was time for Christmas Eve dinner. <laughs> this dinner was always fancy. They always ate in the dining room instead of the kitchen. See, that's a change. And they liked to dress up. Even Henry was the only time he liked fancy things. Okay. Henry's father put a bright red quote cloth on the table. I almost messed up. He put shiny white dishes on top of the cloth. Henry's mother brought out two green candlesticks. She put them in the center of the table. Don't need to show you that for page because it's just words. Then Henry's father carried in all the food. Henry, his mother, and his father sat down to eat. They looked at each other. They looked at all the food. Wow, Henry said. Very old. His mother lit the candles, and they began eating. But while they ate, they could hear Mudge crying. They haven't been invited to the fancy Christmas Eve dinner because he was in dog. He had to stay in Henry's room. <laughs> Sorry, dogs. Poor Mudge, Henry fought Henry. Poor Mudge fought Henry's parents. Parents. They all looked at each other. 
Then Henry's father smiled. He got up to find an extra point. It's a picture. And also, this is from the, the mini library on at Walla Walla. And that's in bad condition. There's a wet stain. Henry and his mother and his father filled the plate with food. Then Henry let Mudge out of his room. When Mudge came to the table, Henry's father put the plate of food on the floor. I'm breathing. Henry's mother held one of the candles beside the plate. Mudge wagged his tail and began eating as fast as he could. It was his first fancy dinner in the dining room. <laughs> so there we go. It was his first fancy dinner by candlelight candlelight merry christmas mudge henry said henry mudge looked at henry and sneezed some f fancy turkey on him and they laughed about that all night long okay. part two and we're on to chapter three Bye guys. Hey guys, today, today in this series, we'll be reading Henry and Mudge and the Sparkle Days. But if you don't know the series yet, this is the last episode. So go to episode one and episode two for more detail. Today's, today's, um, chapter. chapter today, we will, we will be reading Firelight. Here we go. On winter nights, Henry and Henry's parents and Mudge loved to take walks. They loved to see the warm lights in the house. Is. They loved to see the winter stars in the sky. They loved to... Oh, sorry, I didn't show you the page, dummy. Okay, there we go. They loved to see the winter stars in the sky. They loved to see the sparkle of the moon on the wild, on the white yards. <laughs> they felt happy on these walks. Mudge never stopped wagging. One night, they even saw a shooting star. Make a wish, said Henry's mother. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Papa. Okay. <laughs> Henry's father wished for peace on earth. Henry's mother wished for her favorite basketball team to win. Henry wished it for chocolate pudding every day for the rest of his wife. They all wondered what Mudge was for probably was for probably half of my chocolate pudding, said Henry. <laughs> Skip the page. Oh. Oh, oh, I forgot. Thanks, Papa. I thought. Read that page. Oh. Oh, sorry about that. After their walk, my bad, Zitchy. They loved coming home to their fireplace. Henry's father and mother sat on the couch, hugging, and Mudge, Henry and Mudge, lay on the floor. Uh, I always showed them. Here, here's the other, show another page. Okay. 
The wood popped and cracked. No one talked much. They just watched the flames and threw about the sparkle days. Okay. Okay, bad condition again. The house was quiet. The room was dark. The fire was red and everything was warm. Ow. On a winter night, Henry and Henry's father and Henry's mother and Henry's big dog, Mudge, rested. Goodbye. This is the end of the series. Tomorrow we'll be read, reading the Some Bodies, and I, and I don't know how many chapters are in that book. But next time. Bye, guys.